Tuna, when they are swimming, swim at the top of the water column and they actually excrete out 68 to 76 percent, according to some scientists, of the nitrogen from their food source. That means you have nitrogen at a high level going into the water column. It is impossible to contain that within the pontoon area. It is going to actually move across the region of the pontoon and outside up to possibly a kilometre. And the result of that nitrogen outfall can be eutrophication of the seagrass. Seagrass needs to stand up like that to photosynthesise. If there is a nutrient outfall, what happens is little white ferny growths like staghorn ferns grow onto the seagrass, weigh it down, and then the seagrass cannot photosynthesise and it dies. If the seagrass dies, the patch of sand that has actually been formed then starts to move out and starts to smother the grass alongside. This is one of the potential problems. In the Anthony Cheshire Biogeographical Report for Oceanic Victor, they have sought to mitigate this by only keeping a low number of fish. That will have some impact, granted, but it will not completely mitigate the impacts that could be had by that waste moving.